Hi everyone, I'm Hendo, and today I'm making the Potion of Heroism based on the one from Dungeons and Dragons. Every month I make a different prop and cocktail based on a different potion from D&D. And this is my seventh one! For one hour, this bright blue potion gives you ten temporary hit points and the effect of the Bless spell. Blue is my favorite color, and seven months later I finally get to make a blue potion. D&D heroes remind me of a lot of, like, leather harnesses and armor, so I decided to go with a leather and blue theme. So let's roll! I'm making a little leather topper for this potion, starting with patterning the top. This is plastic wrap and duct tape, and I'm just making an asymmetrical design with a sharpie. I'm going to hold this on with some string and add a few stitches, so I'm accounting for that too. And now I'm transferring the pattern to leather. I'm actually going to cut a hole in the top first and put it back in my bottle, then lay the pattern on top and cut it out more exactly. This is helpful since the top of the bottle is a little bit curved. Then I'm taking it off, cutting it out, and adding a few distressed holes to it. I'm also sorry that my cat is in the way, she gets really cuddly and doesn't fit on my lap so she'll just insist on being on the desk. Next I'm punching some holes in the leather for that suede cording. Leather's actually pretty sturdy so I'm not too worried about it tearing, but I am still going to put those holes a little ways from the edge just to play it safe. Then I'm running the cord through the holes, strapping it down, and tying it off at the bottom. I'm going to slap some suede cording on the bottleneck too. The main flourish I want to try is a wax seal, mostly because it looks super satisfying, and I want a few feathers to be underneath it. So I'm gluing those on first with super glue. Then I'm heating up the wax and pouring it onto the bottle. I tried to stamp it this way, but a little too much of the wax had run off the sides. I don't mind the runniness of the wax, I think it's kind of neat, but I do want the stamp to be a bit more pronounced. So I'm just going to make another one on a flat surface and just glue it onto the top, sealing with a little bit of extra heat to make sure it really sticks. I did decide to have this potion light up, and I'm going to use another cork with fairy lights. This one actually already came blue. The cork is thinner than my bottleneck, so I am going to pat it out a little bit with some foam. This is just regular craft foam. I'm rolling the cork to trace a little pattern, making sure that I account for the switch. I think it's easier to glue it around the cork first and then cut off the excess. And I'm using a dremel to clean up the sides. I also used a dremel to carve in some wood texture, but the time lapse was going really really fast. Um, so if you want a more detailed tutorial for how to dremel in wood texture, check out my blue spirit mask tutorial. Okay, and once that was done, I just went ahead and painted the cork brown. For the bottle fluid, I went with the hair gel method because I ordered it in bulk, so I, I need to use it but also because it looks bubbly and nice. I dyed it blue with just some resin dye. And that's it! Potion's pretty much done. All it needs is a little label. The blue with the brown leather for some reason gives me like a heavy colonial vibe like Age of Empires, but I still like it. So here it is all finished. And that's it for the Potion of Heroism. If you're interested in a drinkable version of this potion, you can check out my cocktail video too. Next month I'm doing the Potion of Invulnerability, thanks to some of the comments on my last video, but if you have any ideas for what I should do next, go ahead and let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I'm Hendo, and until next time, roll high! I love you. I know. See, she's on the desk now, even. I don't have time- I don't want to cuddle right now. Just decide. You have to decide.